Hello and welcome to another American TESOL Institute webinar with yours truly, Jason Levine, better known as Fluency MC. I am so pleased to be with you tonight. We have teachers here live from all over the world. Thank you for being here live. If you're watching this asynchronously after the fact, thank you so much for your support. And if you are a believer in interactive communicative games for the English language classroom, please help us share this particular session because I'm going to be focusing on what I truly believe is the best platform so far for English language teachers in the classroom. And that means in the in-person classroom and in the online classroom, both the best platform for playing interactive communicative games in English for young learners, uh, adolescents, adults, test preparation, grammar focus, vocabulary focus, integrating pictures, language, and that includes GIFs and videos. I decided to do this webinar and focus only on one platform because to be honest, I have not found a platform and I look everywhere. I've tried a lot of game platforms. I game all the time with my students. I've not found a platform that works this well. And when I say it works this well, I mean that my students want to keep playing different ages, they love it, and that they learn more using this platform than others. I noticed them remembering more language, uh, using more language after we play games on this platform. And also it's so easy to play games. It's easy to explain games and play them. And it's super easy to create games. Last but not least, it is free. You can get Bamboozle Plus like most platforms. You can pay and you can have more options. But first we are going to look at uh, bamboozle the free option, which is where we are. So I'm just going to show you the sign up page. Email, password, username, done. Okay, so it's super easy. Uh, I'm going to sign in and I have two accounts, a free account and a paid account. So I'm going to show you the free account first. What can you do on Bamboozle with a free membership? Well, the answer is quite a bit. So you see here, I have no games because my games are in my paid membership. Now you can use Bamboozle and not make games. So here we're set up to make games. I can make a game. We're going to come back to that later. First, I want to show you, let's go to the home page. All right, this is the home page. We were just here before. And the first place to go, I think, is games. Now, these are games that other people have made. And as you can see here, there are over half a million games. This is not an English language game platform only. You can see there are different languages here. And there are teachers making games for classes that are not English language learning classes. They could be mathematics classes. They could be English classes for native speakers at high levels, low levels, anything, right? Bamboozle is not just for English language teaching. However, there are many English language teachers on this platform. Uh, the creator of Bamboozle was an English language teacher in Vietnam. We have a couple people here from Vietnam. I don't know if that's a coincidence that you know about Bamboozle because you're in Vietnam, but Bamboozle is starting to get known all over the world. We saw already in the chat, a couple of teachers are using it. So I'm going to introduce it as if you've never seen it before to show you how easy it is to, to get started. So you can get started by playing other people's games and you don't have to create games. Maybe you don't want to create games. You just want to use games. There are so many. So there's a search engine here to search for games. You can search by language, 
popularity, how new it is, underfeatured, and then search even more specifically this way. So we have featured games here. Do you see anything you like? I want to show you the features of the games. So let's see, does anyone have a request? Somebody just said, would you rather? Oh, here it comes, letter G, possessive. Okay, let's look at would you rather. This is a good one to start with. It doesn't have any graphics or pictures, okay? So you can create a game without graphics or pictures. You see the game preview. Let's go to another one. Let's look at the possessive. Oh, now this one has pictures. Now what I want to show you here is when you have the game preview, if you click hide, oh, now it's on show mode and you can see the answers. The hair of my cousin is blue. How would you say that? You can see all of the answers if you want to see the answers. You can also study. If you study, it's like flashcard style. So you can see each one, not all at once. Now this is before we play. These are not the games. This is the preview. Something else that's really nice, the slideshow. You can see it this way. Great for online or also to project in the classroom. The tail of the horse is not short. You can click on the slideshow to see the answer. So let's go back to would you rather. Now, why when we click here, do you only see why? Because this is not a game where you have one answer. The student is going to respond. Well, I would rather, right? So you can look at the slideshow. Would you rather be a detective or a pilot? And go through them this way. This is for you to review or you can, I often use the slideshow as a way to introduce the game before we begin. Because we haven't started playing, here's play. If you're not playing after school, they can use the games this way. Let's go look at the letter G challenge. As you see, we have all kinds of games at our different levels. This one. Ooh, does this picture start with the letter G? Does this picture? We've seen how you can study them to see the answer individually. We can see how you can see them in a slideshow and you can see the answers here. Do the actions. Get everybody up. Do five jumping jacks. Stretch. Could be great for online or in the classroom. Can somebody choose another game? We're going to play a game. Because we haven't even seen how to play a game yet. It's already engaging. You can already do things in the classroom, online or, uh, or in person with these features. The three word food is pretty cool. I like this. Let's play a game with this. So let's, let's look first at the answers. Movie eat butter. Hmm. Tree iPhone round, yellow monkey bunch. Oh, <laughs> we have some very cool pictures. I'm going to show with you when you make games, how you can use pictures. Let's play. We can choose how many teams. Now, everything here is when you use Bamboozle for free, when you don't pay. If you pay, you can have five teams, six teams. I'll demonstrate it with three teams. You can have nine questions, 15 questions, or 24 questions. That depends on the number of questions in the game. There are power-ups. So much fun. You can have more chance when you play. We have themes. We can use just numbers or we can use themes with pictures. Let me show you one normally. Let's do it the most simple way. So we have three teams, 15 questions. We're not going to use a theme. Three teams, 15 questions. And we're going to play a classic game. I want to just show you quickly how it works. Team one chooses a question. Oh, team one loses 10 points. Oh, team one already. 
behind team one, team two chooses eight. Oh, tree, iPhone, round. I think I remember that one. It was an apple. Yes, team two wins 20 points. Team three, hmm, 10. Take 15 points. Oh, team three, we're playing with the power ups. Has to decide who are we going to take these 10 points from? Oh, it's not fair to take from team one. Let's take from team two. And this is a great way to practice English because they can discuss. Oh, no. Don't take our points. Yes, team two, take the points. Team three now is 15. It's back to team one. Team one. Other team loses 10 points. Oh, team one is going to take them from team three. <laughs> now you can play without the power ups. Then it's only the questions, but the power ups are so much fun. Ooh, cow drink white. Hmm, I don't know. Oh, of course, milk. Oh, team two did not think of milk, so it's wrong. Team three chooses five. Clear, healthy glass. Ah, I think it's water. Okay, you get the idea, right? What's really cool, I'll show you here, is you can come in and you can edit the names, right? So team one is number one. Team two is cool team. Remember, we are in not Bamboozle Plus, right? This is the free version. You have access to all of the games that people make public. Let's look at how you can make a game with a free membership. So we would go to my library. Let's create a game together. I'm going to show you how easy it is. What do you want to do? What kind of game? While you are thinking about that, I'm going to click here, new game, daily routines. Okay, Wendy, we're going to call the game daily routines. We are going to say what it's about and choose a language. And the tags are very useful for people to find them. Well, so the search engine I showed you earlier, you can search by tag. I think daily routines is good. Oh, there's already one here. Nice. I think present simple is good. Oh, present simple is there. How about a picture for our game? You could choose a file. Right? I could go into my files and upload a picture. What if we put in daily routines? Will we find a cool picture? We could look for a sticker. Ooh, we could use this for our game. Text. We can also do maybe day. Ooh, that might be nice. I think we had a sticker here. My daily routine. That's now going to be the picture for our game. We're going to make the game. New game made. Now, if we want to see our games, my library, let's look. Hey, there's our game. We have a game. We just don't have any questions for it. But you see how simple it was to create the game. Now, we can click on the game and we can edit it. We're going to make questions. Who has a question for our daily routine game? While you are thinking about that, I'll explain what's going on here. We can write a question and write the answer. Talk about your day, that's nice. That's a more open question. What time do you get up? More specific question, good, keep it coming. I'm going to explain. So you will write the question here and the answer. We can decide how many points. You can also play where there are no points when you play the game, right? You can have the question have an image or the answer has an image. When do you usually have your breakfast? What time do you get up? I like these. I think she mm, at seven o'clock. And what time do you get up? Maybe should be different points, right? So let's see here. She at seven o'clock and what's our answer going to be 
What does she do every day? So maybe she mm, at seven o'clock every morning. We're going to put in the adverbial there. And you can just copy and paste this. Sorry, I want to show you how simple that is. We're going to copy and paste that. We're going to put in the correct answer. Let's make that 20 points. We have a question. There it is. But how about this? And you can copy and paste so easily in Bamboozle. And maybe it's wakes up. And that's also maybe we Oh, look, look how quickly you can do this. She gets up or she wakes up. Oh, it could be both, right? So we have she gets wakes up at seven o'clock. When do you get up? And the answer could be, right? I get up at. Now this question maybe is more difficult. So let's make that 25 points. Oh, maybe we want to make this one 15 points. So it's very easy to go back and edit them. Ah, what about pictures? We could make one with a picture. What does he do at night? We're going to look for a picture. How about go to bed? Let's try bed. Ah, what does he do at night? And the answer is he goes to bed at night, right? We could also put here, he goes to sleep. Now, because we don't have so much time, let's try a game with our three questions. Just the three questions. Let's see, let's check it out. We can, so we're gonna go, we're gonna close the game. We can see our questions and you can add more, of course. And you saw the games that had many more questions, but let's see what happens. So you've created your game, right? We've got our slideshow. We can see the answers. You can always edit them if you want to change them, if you make a mistake. We can do the study mode. And your students can have access, right, to the game. So they could, if they can't, they don't have people to play the game with, uh, they can review either before you play the game or after you play the game. Let's play. I want to show you the themes this time. We're going to choose cats because I like cats. Now, if you play classic, it has the power ups. Or you can play questions only. Or you can play with easy power ups. Classic junior. <laughs> we only have four questions. That means one of them is a power up. Team one, when did you get up? Oh, I get up at eight o'clock. And maybe as a teacher, you could say, oh, every day? Try using every day. I get up every day at eight o'clock. I get up at, and you could also give them this language. They have to complete the sentence or they have to remember everything. I get up at seven o'clock. She at seven o'clock every morning. She gets up. Oh, gets up or gets up. Now you can decide, correct or not. I don't know. Let's say, mm, that's close, but remember, it's she gets. They get, we get, you get. Okay, we'll give you the points. Team one, I'll lose five points, team number zero. Team three, what does he do at night? Oh, what does he do at night? He goes to bed or he goes to sleep at night. It's correct. Team two is the winner.
<laughs> so that's uh, how it works. Again, with the free Bamboozle uh, membership, I want to log out and show you what happens when you use the paid version. Many things I showed you, you can do, okay? So it's not one of those platforms when you use it for free, it's like, you know, I started using it for free and made lots of games before I decided to pay for Bamboozle. I really had a great time and uh, my students loved it without paying. I decided to do it paid because there's so much more you can do, right? It's one of those things. So I'm going to sign in with my other account. So now I'm in and these, this is my library. These are my games. And if you want to follow me here, so if we go to my profile, you see me, there I am, Fluent CMC. These are my games and I have folders. I wanna show you the folders. So I can put my collocation games here. I can put my, I do the English language teacher quiz show. I think you know that I have games for the quiz show here. Young learners. These are all my young learner games. So these are games I created. Some are public, some are private, some I haven't finished yet. Do you see something here you want to check out from my games? I'll wait to see in the chat box if there's a game you want to check out. All of the games that are public are available to everyone. So you don't need a paid membership to have access to public games. It's more about creating your own games, having more options to create games. I'm going to show you a few of my favorite games that I've made, okay? One of them is, what happened? Now, can you imagine how you could use this game? So I, the students get it, they have to get in a group and Think of the best way to explain what happened. Sometimes give, I give them some vocabulary before, or we talk about the vocabulary after, past tense practice, funny memes. That's a game I do with my uh, adolescents and adults. So much fun. And what you can do when you have the paid membership too, I'll show you here. One of the options you can use is partial credit. So when we do this, on this game, I can uh, give, uh, how good was that answer? Maybe team one decides, oh, they should get this many points. You can have different points for how good your answer is. Say it like them. How about this one? If it's your turn, say it like her. Oh my God. God. <laughs> this is for intonation and stress practice. This one's also a lot of fun, adolescent, adult learners. How about young learners? Well, let's go to my folder here. How about is there, isn't there? You can complete the sentence first. Is there a dog on the sofa? Yes, there is. I use this one with two parts, right? First, you have to make the question and then you have to answer the question. Let's look at another one for young learners. Things in a school. What's this? It's blue. This is the backpack. Remember, your students can work with this, like study either before or after they play. So it can be homework to do before they play the game or after they play the game. I've used it both ways. Anyone who's here live is going to receive, if you email me, and I'll put my email here, a free month of Bamboozle Plus, okay? I'm gonna announce this at the end also. So I'll announce it twice, it's probably better. Here's my email, fluencymc at gmail.com. If you email me, and tell me I was at the uh, session on Bamboozle a free month, okay? And you can try it. If you like it, uh, you could continue. If not, it will stop, 
Okay. I like to do classic stuff. Let's, let's look at this. You know, I like to do, do things that are really important, like prepositional phrases, but in an interactive way. I mean, compare something like this, very simple, no, no pictures, no nothing, right? But it's so much more interesting to do something like this with a game as opposed to, you know, fill in the blank, um, gap fill sentences. So I make sure that I've got sentences, I've got prepositional phrases that are very common. And then it becomes a really fun, uh, friendly competition. So let me demonstrate one, one more game, how simple it is to, to set it up. We're going to play, right? Now I have up to eight teams and I can make 48 questions. This is because we're looking at the paid version. I can choose the power-ups. So you have power-ups in the other game, but you don't get to choose which ones you want to use. Lots of options in the paid version. You can have the questions appear in the exact order that you made them. You can choose any team can answer. You can have emoji grid, which is a lot of fun. Let me show you emoji grid. Students love emoji grid. Partial credit I mentioned earlier. You can play without the score if you want to play without points. At the end where it's game over, you can hide that if you want. You can pass, you can have a timer. Oh, and I wanna show you a multiple choice game. So let me show you this one, show you one more with multiple choice. This one, I don't use multiple choice. So that's good if you don't have the paid version. We're gonna play with two teams, emoji grid. Elephant, baby, what do you want? Team one, I want the birthday cake. Let's go. Things have been difficult times. We have the timer on. Maybe you'll help, meaning this means like sometimes, right? Not always, like sometimes. So we're looking for prepositions. We know it's a preposition game. In times, with times, at times. Oh, I think it's times. Correct. Team one. <laughs> Team two chooses the light bulb. Let's do something different. Mm, a change. Let's do something different of a change. No, let's do something different for a change. Oh, team two. That's okay. Next time. We got Emen playing over here. <laughs> if you like playing, by the way, teachers come to the ELT. English language teaching quiz show where we play games like this. Cool. Thank you. Man. <laughs> so you see how that works. Okay, good. I want to show you one of my games with multiple choice. We can also, what's nice, you can just click here, pop up. Now I'm back to my games. Let's do one that has multiple choice. I don't know. Let me show you a trivia game I made. The human body. You can see here there's multiple choice. I'm just going to quickly start the game. Just show you how multiple choice looks because it's really cool. So some of these are not multiple choice. True or false, your tongue has different areas that are ah, more sensitive. There's a mistake. What a good opportunity to show you something so cool. I have a mistake in my game. Look at this. I can edit the game. I can edit the game while we are playing. How cool is that? So you see where it says show. How many breaths does the average person take each day? Who knows? How many breaths does the average person take each day? While we are waiting, let me just remind you, we can choose names for our teams here. We can change the score if we need to. Oh, let's see. We have an answer, 2,500. But that's not a choice. We have 25,000. I think maybe you meant 25,000. Okay, we have a uh, 25,000. That's correct. Uh, if your digestive tract were stretched out, how long would it be? Now, I want to get it wrong. I hope someone gives me a wrong answer because I'm going to show you what happens. It's very cool with multiple choice. I think it's as long as a banana. Oh, no. Now, team one still has a chance for 10 points. As long as a baseball bat. No, 
Five points. Last chance. I think as long as two cars. Yes, it's correct. <laughs> as I mentioned, if you are here live and you want a free month of Bamboozle Plus, you get it for attending this American Tesla Institute session. My email again, fluencymc at gmail.com. If you go yourself to the site, okay, so now I'm in, this is the free version. Remember, we created our game here, our little quick game, my daily routine, which we could uh, continue. But what I want to do is just go out here and look, just look at how many games are available to you. I mean, you can start making games, but you can also start playing games, which I strongly suggest first. I mean, play games so you can get ideas. Honestly, for game making, this is it for me. This is where I am. I, I really do it here uh, because as I said earlier, uh, my students just love playing the games with this platform and it's easy to create them. There are games with videos, which is really pretty cool. Look at this for young learners. You have to guess the animal, missing lyrics. One hand to what? <laughs> guess the country. This one is so cool, but we don't have time for it. I've got to go, everybody. Thank you very much. And thank you to the American Tesla Institute for making these webinars happen. Such a wonderful opportunity to connect with teachers all over the world. Everybody have a really nice weekend. Take care. Bye-bye.